Greetings to Psychedelic Salutations from me, James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query tutorial. Today, we are going to use the list accumulate function to do the following. We are going to take a list of names, um, and these names are on camel case with numbers mixed in between, and we are going to insert spaces between numbers and letters, and also the crossover from upper to lower case. So we end up something like this. And at the end of this, you are going to know exactly how list accumulate work. So, let me show you how to do it. Alright, so let's pull it into Power Query, select your data set, go to data and say from table or range. That opens Power Query. Magic! Just delete this change type over there. Wonderful. So first thing that we're going to do is we are going to count the number of characters in the, each of these names. So we can say add. I'm going to add a column. It's going to seem like overkill. Let's just call this the split name column. And I'm going to do a clustered letter here. And it seems mad now, but you're going to see why. Let's call this text is equal to name. And then we're going to say text ling is equal to text length and of the names. Yes. And let's just have an in in there. And then we return text length. Okay. Overkill, I know. But you'll see now, we're going to head over to the advanced editor after this. So you can see this is 14 characters, 12, 15, tit, tit, tit. Okay, so let's quickly open List Accumulate. So List Accumulate, first of all, takes a list as an input, as a seed, a starting point, and then it has an accumulator, kind of like an iterator we're going to use. I'm going to show you how that works right now. And the accumulator normally works with a state and a current. And in context of our word, I'm going to show you exactly what that means. If we look at our word, so bull 69 gates, yes. Every letter in this word will be part of the list accumulate function. So we're going to start at, there's 14 letters in there, but letter number zero, which is B, and letter number 13 is S. So we're going to iterate through everything in here. And if it's a digit, we're going to put a space. If it's a capital letter, we're going to put a space. And that's how we'll do it. But we'll use the list accumulate function for that. All right, so now, Let's head on over to the advanced editor and in there. Let's quickly just format this. Let's put this let over there the Variables in there and the in in there. So we know where we are Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna start uh, Let's call this one split text this variable and we're gonna say list accumulate Yes, and we need to give it our first argument first argument is what is the list and in this case the list is actually the entire word so that's the all the letters in this word and you can see we're going to start counting from the first character until the last character because okay, so we're going to say in brackets they curly brackets from one yes character number one up until the text length yes less one okay because remember we are going to start counting so one is actually i okay and we want to stop at one before, you know, because we actually started counting from zero. So that's why we have that in there. Next thing, we need to define a seed. So the seed is the place where you start. And in this case, the place where we'll start is the very first letter in our word, which is B. So all we'll do that is in curly brackets, we'll say text at, we're gonna say text, and we're gonna start at character zero, which would basically be that B. Now that we've done that, now we need to declare the default according to the list accumulate function is to create a thing called state and current with the rocket hash like that. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to say, cool, after this, we're going to in brackets, state and current, and we are going to do a little rocket hash. But now inside of this, we're going to do another nested let. So we'll do this with square bracket, square bracket. Close it out. So now we're inside of the list accumulate function. First thing that I want to do is, because it's basically going to start iterating from, it's going to start iterating through every letter in here. So from the B. So let's look at the previous character. That's the variable we're going to declare. We're going to say text at text, the current, the current state, which is, we're going to start at one, less one. What that basically means, one starts counting at the i less one is the b so the previous character is that current character text at text current and in this case current would be i so current would be the i and the previous would be the b is previous digit so we're going to say text contains 
if the text contains 0 to 9, the previous character, so if the previous character contains 0 to 9, give me a true or a false. Yeah, is current digit, I say text contains, same thing, but just for the current character. Also, true or false. Okay, so let's quickly evaluate this in our case. This i, the previous character, is not a number, and this current one is not a number, so both these statements would be false. But in the case where we get to this character, this would be, let's say this is the current one, 6 would be true, and then the previous one will be false. Okay, so is uppercase. So here we're going to say text upper, and we're going to give it our current character. If the current character, we're going to force it to be up, upper, is equal to the current character. So in all the other words, when it's upper, so in case of the I, we make it upper. Uh, it's not an upper, so this is false. Okay. And then we're going to say, and text lower current character is not equal to current character. So let's quickly see. In this case, it is not equal to. So this one is false. Okay. And now we're going to have a one called should split. This is basically going to be like, if it's true, then we should split with the space. So if is digit, is previous digit is unequal to is current digit, close that bracket out, or is uppercase. We're basically just saying there, if the previous and the current are both digits, then we don't split. But if the previous one is non-digit and the current one is a digit, then we split. Or if it's an uppercase, we split. Okay, cool. True or false. And now we're going to say the new state is equal to if should split is true, then we're going to take the state. I'm going to show you what that means up until this. So up until bi, the state is bi. So this current state is bi. But let's say we're at 69. So the current state. Okay, so let's quickly see. So state, if we were at the 6, the L and the 6, the current state would be LL. So we need to add a space in 69. So this is the state. And we need to now add that 6 over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to say state because we know we need to split and bracket space and add the current character. Yes. Else, just take the state and add the current character. I'm just going to take this new state and I'm going to put it into the brackets over there. And I'm going to make sure that we return the split. Put a bracket in there and then we say return it. So if we look at this list now, you basically have your character split out like that. You see there's the spaces there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. We just now need to take that and make it one word. How do we do that? Let's open advanced editor. Let's add another step in here. Let's call this one result say text combine split text and we're going to combine it with that and we just return the result over there there you go isn't that cool isn't that cool so a cool thing about the the state so remember one thing with the accumulator, each individual character is your current. That's the current. The state will then be this. So as you iterate through, your state grows. That would be your state growing. And at the end, your state will be the entire word because you'll stop there. So this is how state and current work. So you have your current character and you have your state, everything up until that character. So let's bring this back to Excel. There you go. Pretty cool. So I hope this gave you a little... Uh, a little insight into our list accumulate works and now you can actually this is just the way I did it here but you can obviously make a custom function out of this and have a little function that you just split camel case and numbers um, from each other but anyway so I hope this showed you our list accumulate works and you can understand power query a little bit better well BA Sensei signing out